Hi, I'm Jane from SecureTot and I'm going to show you how to install the AxeKid Mini Kit. The first part of the process is to attach the tether straps and you can do that by either going through the runners of the front seat, but we can't get through the runners in this car, or by going through the seat itself. I've now fed the tether strap through the front seat. You now need to feed the buckle through the slot in the tether strap and pull tight. The slots on the tether straps are colour coded for consistency on both sides. Choose the slot that is the closest fit so that the buckle is as low down as possible. Using the lever underneath the seat, you can set the recline before you install the seat in the car. And then swivel the seat into position. You can either position the Axkin Mini Kid with the heel of the seat so that it is hanging over the back of the seat or with the seat positioned on the back seat for smaller cars or for taller passengers where more room is required in the front. To begin, open the clasps on both sides of the seat, pull out the seat belt and then feed the seat belt through the hole on one side of the seat and then underneath the cover through the other side down the hole click in the buckle and pull tight and lock off on this side you lock off the shoulder belt and the lap belt on this side you lock off only the lap belt the next stage is to attach to the tether strap. Pull down in one continuous motion and lock off on the anchor point created. Make sure the white line is visible. And do the same on the other side. To tighten the straps, you simply wiggle the seat and then pull down the support leg, doing the top section first and then the second section and lock off and then give a final wiggle harder this time to tighten the tether straps fully the axe kid can but does not need to make contact with the front seat that's your car seat installed thank you the mini kid can only be installed on the front seat if the airbag can be deactivated be aware of cars with underfloor storage compartments when you pull the harness tight, please ensure you firstly pull tight around your child's legs, then pull the harness tight in one continual action. The next support will automatically lower itself to a perfect height.